do have coming in. Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonation. Have you ever wondered what intercourse between a sniper rifle and a submachine gun might look like? God knows I have. Well, in that case, you might be in for a treat, because the mod we're gonna be taking a look at next adds in one of the most notorious gun hybrids into the Commonwealth. Now the Bullpup Bozar mod adds in a brand new, custom-made rifle into the Commonwealth, coming packed with its very own custom meshes, high resolution textures and custom animations, with the majority of the stats and an overall design heavily based upon that of the Bozar rifle found within Fallout 2 and Fallout New Vegas. I have seen multiple iterations of this weapon through all out the Fallout 4 Nexus, and have even showcased a few, don't look into that, so I can safely say that this is the single greatest recreation of the Bozar rifle within the Commonwealth. And I'm not sure if it's because of that beautiful looking stock, the outstandingly well made scope, or even the magazines. And don't even get me started on those magazines, because I've got nothing to say about those goddamn magazines. They can just fuck off. Now, the weapon itself has been added to the level list and should start spawning through all out the Commonwealth on various traders and/or merchants, as well as a few select high ranking gunners, assuming your character is level 30 or higher. Now, if you've ever encountered this weapon within Fallout 2 or Fallout New Vegas, I'm sure you're gonna wanna pick it up and play with it once more. But if you have never before laid eyes on this weapon and aren't completely sure what exactly it might be, imagine it as a byproduct of a passionate night of sloppy fucking between a submachine gun and a sniper rifle. And when it comes to customization, the mod maker provides you with quite a bit of variety, meaning you could customize this gun to your heart's content. Even though this is without a doubt one of the better looking weapons available on the Fallout 4 Nexus, when it comes to damage dealing capabilities it can be somewhat lacking, especially considering that this is supposed to be an end game or late game item. Nevertheless, it should still be powerful enough to be able to shoot the biggest, meanest and greenest of super mutant co clean off. If for some odd reason you actually enjoyed watching this video and would like to watch more, then subscribe to the channel. As always, my name is Maggie, you've been watching Troll Bros. Until next time guys, I'll see ya!